Hello there, Sev here from Motorhome Dealer Group and welcome to this video guide on the Vertronic LCD Charge Control S Triple Control Panel that you see here in front of us. Now there is a version of this control panel that is much more simple. It simply says mode in the bottom, not AC mode on that middle button there. Uh, that particular control panel is a more simplified version. We're looking at the slightly more complicated version here today, which um, gives us more information about the charging systems on the vehicle. And this video guide is going to explain uh, how to use the control panel, uh, how to interpret the information it tells us, what the different buttons do, and hopefully by the end of the video guide, you're gonna feel um, more comfortable using this control panel with your leisure vehicle. Now, we're not gonna be covering any troubleshooting in this video, so if you are experiencing issues uh, with your vehicle or this control panel, please consult your instruction manuals or seek the help of a technical professional. This video really is a quick start video guide to get you up and running using this control panel in your leisure vehicle. So with all that said, let's get started. So let's start the video guide by explaining the layout of the control panel. So as you can see, we have here uh, an LCD screen that's gonna present the information to us. Uh, we do have some markings on the left and on the bottom that we will refer to um, with various indications on the LCD screen as well. And then we have here three buttons. Um, the left and rightmost one do have uh, dual functionality. They, uh, operate uh, an additional function as well as those indicated on the buttons themselves. So that's the control panel layout. So next, let's talk about the functionality and we'll start by talking about the backlight. As you can see, there is a backlight present. If I press the backlight button, that will toggle the backlight on and off, as you can see, which is uh, quite handy. Now, this backlight can actually also be uh, changed. The, the intensity or the brightness can be changed. We simply hold the backlight button for three seconds and we will see the display change to the word LED. We can then use the leftmost button to toggle through different brightnesses that we would require uh, or prefer. And uh, when you've chosen your desired brightness, just simply leave uh, the screen and just let it go. And as you can see, after a period of time, that then sets. And that's how you change the backlight brightness. With regards to the backlight, if the backlight is currently off, the next press you make on the control panel will just turn the backlight on. So for example, if I press AC mode now, this would normally change the AC mode as you'll hear later in the video guide. But if I press this, nothing else has happened other than the backlight has come to life. Now any subsequent press I make will indeed have an effect. So when the backlight is off, just, just be aware uh, that the first press of the button of the control panel will just turn the backlight back on, allowing you to then interact with it after that. We then also have these other two buttons here. Now this leftmost button we'll start with, this is going to cycle through the different pages of information. Um, so first of all, we have a voltage display here. You can see a number and the letter V underneath. So that's indicating a voltage. And this is the voltage of the leisure battery currently. If I press and hold the arrow buttons here, it's actually going to tell us the voltage of the vehicle battery. And I can tell when that information has changed because this sort of square box over here will disappear and we'll just see a number here. So I'm gonna press and hold for three seconds. That box disappears and now you can see the voltage there. This is the voltage of the vehicle or engine battery. And when I let go, it's going to return back uh, to showing us the uh, leisure battery information. Okay, so let's now continue through the other pages of information we see. If I press it once, we see W, this is watts, and this is going to be the solar panel output in real time. So when your solar panel is exposed to sunlight, this is showing you how many watts or, uh, of power is being generated by the solar panel. If I press this once more, we're going to see watt hours. And this is a number, a counter that will accrue over time. So as your solar panel generates energy, it's going to count essentially how much energy has been generated uh, and this number will increase. And it's the same if I press once more for amp hours. So we can see that solar panel power generation accumulation in either uh, watt hours or amp hours. Now, of course, if the watt hours um, gets high enough, that will start displaying in kilowatt hours as well. 
Now these counters can be reset, as you can see they already have been here on this particular panel, but they can be reset at any time by pressing and holding while on the respective pages, pressing and holding the backlight button or the number three button here for three seconds and that will reset those counters. So the next page, if I press, we see amps, and this is the cumulative charging uh, energy uh, going into the battery. So uh, for the solar or the mains electric charging modes, it does so the sum of all charging currents going into both batteries. So um, that's quite handy, obviously, to see how much energy is going in. At the moment, um, we're inside with this vehicle, so the solar panel's not doing anything, and the mains charger is disabled at the moment. So no energy is going into the batteries whatsoever at the moment. But this number, of course, will show if you are putting charging current into your battery. So with regards to charging, this control panel can actually inform us how the batteries are being charged. It will let us know whether they're charging by driving, whether they are charging via the solar panel, or if we're connected to mains electric hookup, it will show us uh, how the mains electrical system is charging the battery, and we actually have some manual control over that. Uh, so let's start going into that now. Firstly, when you're driving, the vehicle's alternator is going to be supplying charging current to the leisure battery, and that will be indicated on this control panel with an arrow like you see just here, over the DC symbol here. So that will indicate that the DC uh, current coming from the uh, vehicle's alternator is charging the leisure battery. There's no control over that. If the engine is running, that is what you should see indicated on the control panel. If we are charging via solar, then we will see a sun indicator just in the sort of top left of this area alongside the uh, rectangle you see just there. If there's no sun visible, which is currently the situation, then solar power is not at our disposal. It's not available. If we see a full sun highlighted there, then solar power is um, at our disposal and the solar panel is operating uh, as it should be and generating energy. If we only see sun rays depicted there, then the solar charger is available, but we're charging via another means, typically via the mains electric instead, if available. And if the sun icon is displayed there, but it is flashing, it's not static, it is flashing, then that means that the solar panel is working, but it is um, limiting its output because the battery is full or almost full. So it's trying to avoid the battery uh, overcharging there. So if it's flashing, that just means solar's working fine, but it is just uh, limiting the output because the battery is nearly full. So when it comes to mains electric charging, we actually have some control. So at the moment, this vehicle is plugged into mains electricity. And at the moment, the mains electric charging is turned off. And that is indicated here by the arrow next to the word off, as you can see there. So um, that shows we are not using the mains electric, even though it is available to charge. And there are actually a few different modes of mains electric uh, charging operation here. We have obviously the off, we have AC mode, which is basically going to be fully enabled mains electric charging. We have a limited uh, mains electric charging mode used for uh, limited supplies, uh, if you're limited on your campsite, for example. And uh, those are the three modes that are available. And we toggle those by pressing the AC mode button. So if I press the AC mode button now, you can see that it has moved over to limit right there, but it is still currently off. So what I need to do is I need to press it one more time and now you can see AC is on and limit is on. So we are charging now using mains electric power, but the uh, amount of energy it's going to try and draw is somewhat limited, okay? So um, there we go. Now, it says here on the uh, manual that the output is throttled and uh, also that the fans uh, internally are operated at a um, sort of reduced low speed. And this is uh, very handy for a weak supply infrastructure. Uh, so, for example, if you are on a campsite uh, with a limit um, or if the fuse or, or, or trips are set to a low limit wherever you're plugged in, 
Uh, also, this is uh, very handy at night because the fans are much more quiet. Um, so that's quite a nice feature there. So that's the limit mode. If I press AC once more, then only AC is indicated. And this is the full AC mode. Um, and so the char solar charger is going to deactivate and only AC is charging the, um, the battery at the moment. And as you can see, uh, the amp information is uh, updating there as we are charging and I can go through I can see that the vehicle back uh, sorry the leisure battery voltage is nice and high here as we are charging and what is also very very handy is whilst we are charging on the mains electric we can actually see the um, charging phase just here which is um, also very very useful so um, this is indicating along these scales here so you go from the bulk phase to the absorption phase which it looks like we're currently in then you'll move to the float phase and eventually the care phase when the battery is pretty much fully charged so you get to see exactly what stage of the charging cycle the battery is at which is also very useful information so there we go, that about wraps up this video guide on the Vetronic LCD Charge Control S. I hope you found this video useful. I'm Sev and thank you very much for watching.